Okay, for problem number 36, it says the point P is the center of the circle in the figure above. What is the value of X? Well, now, this one is not that hard, but it's not real easy either. Um... What we want to do is the measure of the angle inscribed in a circle is half the measure of the central angle that intercepts the same, same arc. In other words, the measure of, um, of uh, um, how do I word this? The measure of angle No, there's a typo on this thing. I, it's I, I, well, they wrote they they wrote it kind of weird, but the measure of angle A. And I have to be careful. I'm going to say B, A, C is equal to X divided, X degrees divided by 2. Okay? So now if I can figure out the measure of BCA, now you guys know that BCA is, if I start at B and I come to A, that is actually one half of this angle here, okay? Does that make sense? But if I go from A to B to C to P, in other words, if I measure, if I measure all the interior angles, like if I measure angle A, to B, right, because this has an angle, this has an angle, this has an angle, and I measure all those up, because it's a quadrilateral, the uh, sum of angles A plus uh, angle B plus angle uh, P plus angle C is equal to 360 degrees, right? Does that make sense so far? And so the measure of angle P then would be 360 minus X because P, if I measure this angle, like it makes a whole circle, right? This. And this makes a whole circle. So I would say the measure of angle P is equal to um, 360 minus X degrees. You guys with me so far? All right, so now then, if I, if I add all these up to equal to 360, if I go through here and I do all this stuff, and this is really like the measure of angle A, you could think of this as like the measure of angle A. Um, then the sum of all these should equal 360. In other words, A should be X divided by two plus B. What is B though? We're given B, B is 20 plus P, P is actually 360 minus X. And then C is actually 20, and we know that. And that's equal to 360. So now if I take all this stuff, notice that I have a bunch of numbers and a couple of letters. I could solve for X, can't I? Yes. So let's rewrite that. I'm going to combine some like terms. So I've got 20, I've got 360 and 20 and 20. That's going to be 400. So I've got x over 2 plus 400, right, minus x 
equals 360. And I'm just combining like terms, sort of, or getting there. Now, if I have a negative x, well, let's just move this over. If I minus 140, actually, you know what? I'll do it the other way because I'm going to have a negative here. If I have a, a negative 1x and then I add a half x to it, what do I really have? I have a negative x over 2 plus 400 is equal to 360, right? So now if I subtract 400 from both sides, I get negative x over 2 is equal to negative 40, right? You guys with me so far? Yes. So now I'm going to multiply this whole equation by 2, and I get negative x is equal to negative 80. Multiply this again by a negative 1, and I get x equals 80. 